there. My name is Mary Beth Bolt, and I'm a children's picture book author from Iowa, and I have written a new story called The Purple Puffy Coat. It's illustrated by Daniel Duncan and published by Candlewick Press. In this story, Beetle and Stickbug are the very best of friends. They get along great, and it's going to be Stickbug's birthday. So Beetle decides to give him this awesome present, and he chooses for him this purple puffy coat. Now, something you need to know is that Beetle loves to stand out. He loves to be the center of attention, whereas Stickbug loves to blend in and not be the center of attention. So Beetle gives him the coat, and all of a sudden, Stickbug has all these feelings. And I want to give you um, a few clues that will let you know about how Stickbug is feeling about this coat. So they go out and about town, and this is what Stickbug does. While Beetle boasted and bragged, Stickbug waited. He waited behind a tree, inside a pile of leaves, and under a bench. So how do you think Stickbug's feeling about wearing this purple puffy coat? Hmm. The story continues, and a few days later, it's going to be Stickbug's actual birthday, and Beetle wants to do an extra little something for him, so he decides to paint a portrait of him wearing the purple puffy coat. So he paints the picture, and all he has left to do is the face, Stickbug's face. So he sketches this huge smile on Stickbug's face, and then he says, hmm, he doesn't look quite like that. Then he sketched a medium-sized smile. That's not him either, said Beetle. Then he sketched no smile at all. Beetle stared at Stickbug's purple, puffy glumness. Oh no, wailed Beetle. That is exactly how Stickbug looks every time he's wearing his purple, puffy coat. Oh dear, what should Beetle do? He's given Stickbug this present that he knows now that he doesn't like. So Beetle has this idea and he decides to wrap up one teeny tiny note in a teeny tiny package and take it to Stickbug's apartment. Stickbug opens the present and the note says, you never need to wear your purple puffy coat ever again, your friend Beetle. So that is the best gift that Beetle could have given Stickbug not to have to wear the coat. And then Stickbug decides to give the coat to Beetle, remake it into something that fits, and Beetle loves his purple puffy vest, and Stickbug loves his teeny tiny purple puffy bow tie. So boys and girls, as an activity, I was thinking it would be really fun to think of your best friend, think of your brother or sister, maybe you're playing with your brother or sister a lot um, during this time of at-home learning, and I want you to think of something that they really like to do, and it might be something that you really don't like to do, but what would happen if you told them, I would like to do the thing that you want to do? That's part of being a really good friend. So maybe they like to do Legos, maybe they like to build things, maybe they like to cook, and you're not all together excited about those things, but because you're going to be a really good friend, you're going to do those activities with them. Um, and then the second part of this would be, think of something that you really like to do. Maybe you like to dance. Maybe you like to um, play running games. Maybe you like to sing and they don't like to do those things. What if you wrote them a note that said, for today, when we play together, you don't need to do those things. Maybe that could be a gift too. So friendship is all about putting yourself in someone else's shoes. And by being a friend, you also get that kind of friend back. So thank you so much for letting me talk to you about the Purple Puffy Coat. I wish you happy reading and so many wonderful times and memories with your very good friends.